Steve's parcel. And another note from Tess. Hey M, here are Steve's contracts. I bet you're in the mood for some light reading. And now without sarcasm, really, I must admit the energy here is contagious. Is Adit actually going to take off? See you soon. Tess. Good morning, Miss Weiss. Uh, good morning, sir. I didn't see you there. The name's Walter Morgan. I'm with the Postal Service. I left you a message on your answering machine earlier this week. Ah, yes, I remember. Miss Weiss, if you could follow me into the office, I would like to ask you a few questions. Are you familiar with the Postal Service policies? To be honest, no. It says in Chapter 11, Section 3, First Paragraph, and I'll paraphrase, it is forbidden to use Postal Service property for personal gain. Oh. Okay, sounds reasonable. Miss Weiss, I'm aware that you've only just begun working here. But I trust that you do not take the responsibilities of a postal worker lightly. If you look up the definition of integrity, it has my picture next to it. The Postal Service puts its employees under the highest level of scrutiny. I advise you to answer the following three questions truthfully. A yes or no will suffice. Do you know Frank Coleman? Yes. Have you ever given him envelopes, or received envelopes from him, that weren't postmarked? Yes. Are you aware that Frank Coleman wages bets on baseball games? Yes. That will be all. Thank you for your cooperation. What's going to happen to Frank? I'm sorry. We can't discuss personnel matters. Good luck with the mail today, Miss Weiss. Hey, Meredith, that guy you just talked to, what did he want from you? He was asking all sorts of questions. Also about you, Frank. God damn it. Can you believe that jerk? I'm sorry, Frank. I, I just can't lie. I don't blame you, Meredith. They've got nothing on me anyways. I gotta get back to it, Meredith. Have a great day. lighter than I thought. Hey, here's a package for you. Oh, thanks so much, babe. Listen, I owe you an apology. Apology? For what? I was Kurt. Just plain Kurt. And there you were just trying to talk to me. You deserve better. It's okay. No one can be perked up all the time. So, any idea what caused it? Business is slow. 
More than slow. I mean, the Flick Shack is in real trouble. That movie box kind of was my last ditch marketing effort. Nothing's worked so far. That's awful. What'll you do if the store goes bust? I mean, I don't know. Without the store, there's really not much here for me in P.O. So you just up and leave? I don't know. Maybe. Anyway, enough whining. Let me make up for my stupid behavior and reward you for dealing with my moods, my lady. Reward me? Yep. I've got... Ta-da! Coupons! They're one of the few perks this job has. I get to take myself and a plus one to a free movie of my choice at the new cinema in Astoria. Valid tonight only. What? You mean like a date? Oh, you post people in your labels. But hey, if you want to call it that, sure. So what'll it be, Missy? You in or you out? I'd love to. I'm in. Great. Pick you up at your place at eight. I know where you live. <laughs> anyway, gotta get back to it. Bye. Bye. You're placed in your bed, showing no regret. Close your eyes, you hide your life, roll the dice. You got me tiptoeing around you like you made a flag. Here's your mail. I guess nobody's home.
That's lighter than I thought. Hello, sir? It's the mail. Excuse me, what's this all about? It's all about the mail. I'd appreciate it if parcels are not just dumped on the counter. I'd appreciate it if you'd act like a human being. You'd understand if you had any idea about what I'm trying to do here. Setting up a computer system to handle all the bookings is quite sophisticated. Are you sure you're not just playing a game? Yeah, I'm sure. Thanks for the mail. Bye. Sweet Meredith. Hi there. Here's the mail. Thanks. Still enjoying life off the grid? Sure am. Although Mickey had a rough night. Said he had hallucinations of rotten fish in the RV. Yikes. I oh, guess bad trips happen. Well, actually, when I went outside this morning, there was this huge rotting lake trout right below our window. Totally grossed me out. How does something like that end up there? Ew, disgusting. I may have... Oh, hold on. Mickey's got to read this. Mickey! Wake up, honey! Leave me alone. I'm still shit-faced. It's a letter from Damien. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. Give me that. Looks like we won't be here much longer. Oh, really? Where are you going? We're going to Canada. We will be picked up this Thursday, early in the morning. What about the RV? Joan? Are you running your mouth again? I'm sorry, sweet Meredith. Gotta go. Hey, you know what? You should come by Wednesday. Our last night here. We'll build a campfire, have a drink. Maybe a puff or two, you know, and talk about the meaning of life, of course. The complete outdoors experience. Oh, cool. Yeah, why not? Joan! Awesome! Gotta run. See you Wednesday after sundown.
Hey, Mr. Mackey, got another package for you. Ah, oh, Miss Weiss, good seeing you again. How's Mort doing? Hope Mildred hasn't fed the poor fella anything unfit for cats again. As far as I know, he's fine, Mr. Mackey. Yeah, good, good. Uh, don't tell Mildred, but Mort is my favorite critter of hers. Lord knows she's got a hundred of them. <laughs> my lips are sealed. And Mort is cute, yes. <laughs> uh. I just wanted to say, it's good seeing you again after all these years, Mr. Mackey. Glad you're in good health. <laughs> well, it's good to see you back here as well. I always took you for a free spirit. Looks like you're finally settling down a bit. <laughs> Don't know about that one. Well, I have to keep going. See you around, Mr. Mackey. Hello? Hey, Meredith. How was your day at the office? Uh, I mean, mail truck. Oh, hey, Dad. Actually, it did start at the office. I was being interrogated. Interrogated? What? By whom? Walter Morgan, a higher up from the Post Service. He started asking questions about code of conduct and about Frank. Morgan, that walking corpse. He's always after Frank. What did you say? Nothing, basically. That's my girl. They'll never catch Frank anyways. He's always one step ahead of them. Listen, Mom's poking me. I guess we're not allowed to talk about work. Uh, here she comes. Bye, Meredith. Hi, Meredith. Was Dad trying to get work stories out of you? Hi, Mom. Yep, you tried. And he succeeded. It was a weird day. Well, I'm changing the subject right now. Have you met that new guy at the hotel yet, Matt? Yeah, I met him the other day. What a jerk. Ugh, I agree. He's one of the reasons why I won't miss working at the hotel. Anyway, how's life in good old P.O.? It's nice. I met some interesting people. That's good to hear. Interesting people. Do you mean interesting, interesting, or just interesting? I think you could say interesting, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, that's so nice to hear. It's 
been a while since you've met someone interesting. That's right. And now I'm changing the subject. How are you guys doing over there? Oh, Florida is fantastic. I think I might actually want to live here. The warmth of the sun, it's very easy to get used to. Oh, Dad is telling me to get back. Looks like the bar's open. Wonder what he's ordering this time. I'll get an Alabama slammer. <laughs> Alabama what? Alabama slammers! Cheers! This is fun! It's been ages since I've been to the movies. Well, they call it the movies, plural. But of course, we can only see one movie at a time. So, which one will it be? You pick. You're the expert. That's exactly why I want you to choose. The choice of innocent eyes. All right. Let's see. Big Trouble in Little China, Blue Velvet, or The Great Mouse Detective. All right. I'm ready to pick. Big Trouble in Little China. Ooh, the carpenter. This ought to be a ride. <laughs> and it's endlessly quotable. Yes, sir. The check is in the mail. <laughs> you were right about it being a ride. Woo! Yep, that's carpenter. And the best part is, we don't have to talk about hidden meanings or anything. Oh, dear. Does that mean we have to talk about ourselves dun dun da <laughs> so anyway my parents house is right down this road as you well know right missy let's go that away <laughs> i wish i loved anything half as much as you love movies next time we'll do something in your area of expertise You mean driving around in a mail truck? Sure. Park it anywhere around the lake and then just enjoy the sunset. I like the sound of next time, by the way. <laughs> Oops, what a slip of the tongue. So, here we are. Now what? I'm sorry, but I am tired. Ah, oh, you sure? Or we could have a cup of tea at my place. I would like that. I wonder what old Jack Burton would say at a time like this. <laughs> 